How's it going guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing and today we're going to do a clay and wax on my client's vehicle. But the main focus on this video is how I maintain my repeat clients. All right, Jerry. So she just came out. Uh, but um, so before you, you start working with her, was she a maintenance or just hitting you up every now and then for full detail? It was always kind of like every now and then. She never really did um, like maintenance washes, but it was when she felt like she was ready for like a clan wax or a, or a you know wash and wax kind of thing um so that might be the reason why i haven't heard from her in about a year i mean she takes care of the vehicles you could tell she's like stays on top of the maintenance washes but since it's been a year i did check out the paint and you can see like you can see some of the uh iron like kind of embedded into the paint you know those little orange little uh, spots yeah so today we're going to do the clan wax does it hurt when the client hits you up and then they stop hitting you up? You know, do you feel like, should I reach out to them? Should I wait for them to reach back to me? Yeah, so you know, I have a lot of clients like that sometimes. Um, sometimes it makes me feel like, okay, are they not happy with the work? What's going on? But for some reason, every single time I think of a client, they end up contacting me within like a week or so. And it, I'm not exaggerating, it happens without fail. All right, so what's the first step, man? What are we gonna do? All right, so right now we're gonna finish setting up. We're gonna knock out the wheels and then we're going to wash it, clay it, you know, dry it, blow it off, and then we're going to uh, apply the wax. So Jerry, uh, this client, man, she was asking for uh, maybe some favors, some extra work, something under the seat. Oh, yeah, yeah, nothing. So she mentioned that she had a uh, mold. She mentioned that she had mold because I guess they replaced the windshield and they didn't do it correctly. Um, so I, I guess the seats, the, the, the carpet where it's usually tucked in, it keeps on popping out. So she just asked if I could just tuck it back in. It's like very minor, you know? When clients start asking for little stuff, uh, some detailers are like, no, I'm not gonna do that little extra stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, they're yeah. pride, they're ego, yeah. maybe they're busy. Uh, do you feel that's very important to do to keep them coming back or no? Yes or no, it depends on what they're asking for because some clients, they start off with small things and then they try to, I know some of them try to see like what they could get away with. But that little that little thing, I mean, the carpet is kind of coming out and she just wants it tucked in. But yeah, I got her. All right, Gary, what are you doing now? All right, so right now we're cleaning the vehicle. You know, trying to remove all those contaminants that we saw in the paint, trying to make it nice and smooth again. That way, the defender that we apply, it, you know, it bonds well with the paint. Yo, Jerry, where we at, man? An office or something? Uh, yeah, so hey, there's there's a bunch of different offices over here. Um, but I think uh, this client, she works for like a church. Yeah, a lot of traffic. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people coming in and out, and some of the people are struggling to like drive. Like this lady right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but earlier, we got a guy asking for a detail, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had a Tesla. So it kind of works both ways. Crowded, but foot yeah, traffic. Crowded, foot traffic, more potential clients. Yeah. All right, Jerry. So, talking about maintenance, have been coming back. She hasn't hit you up in like about a year. Uh-huh. But she's been chitting on you, bro. What'd you find inside? Oh yeah, she has a little uh, scents from uh, like those drive through car washes. Now, is that a conversation? Do you try to educate her why she shouldn't go to car washes? Or do you just try to give her the best package for her? Yeah, I just try to give her the best package for her because it does look like the vehicle, um, she maintains it very well. Her last vehicle that she had, which was like a Toyota Camry, she took great care of that. Um, and it looks like the same thing with this one too. So if she's taking care of it by herself or a car wash, uh, why did she hit you up? She probably needs like a deeper, a deeper clean, you know, a detail kind of thing. Um, so that, that's where I come in. Hey, but let me know, guys. If you guys find out that one of your clients is cheating on you, do you guys cut them off? Do you raise the prices on them? Let me know down in the comments below. Talking about cheating, has a client ever told you, you know what, Jerry, I'm sorry. I went to another detailer. I didn't like them. Yeah. I come back to you. Yeah, it hasn't happened like recently, but a couple years ago, I did have uh, like one or two clients do that. 
Uh, and then they're like, you know what? They didn't do as, as, as good as a job as you did. Like, I'm sorry. And deep down inside, it's kind of like, damn, you even, you went to somebody else. But then again, it's kind of like, well, they came back. So. You gonna take it personal? I can't, it's business. All right, Jerry. So when it comes to maintenance clients, uh, you first get them, you pitch them the big detail. Do you right away try to get them into the maintenance? You wait till they bring it up. How do you do it? So when I first get a client, um, you know, I'll take care of their car. Usually, depending on how the, what the condition of the vehicle is, um, let's just say the interior is not too bad, but they're, they don't know if the vehicle's ever been clayed or anything. You know, I'll do like the, the touch test, you know, I'll, I'll check to see how rough the paint is. But then I tell them like, you know what? What I recommend is at least start off with like a clay and wax, bare minimum. That way you already know like, all right, it's been clayed. Um, and then now you just stick with the maintenance washes. And usually the new clients, they ask like before even I can mention it, they ask like, oh, you know, so how often do you think I should wash the vehicle? That's when I start to pitch them like the, the maintenance washes, the maintenance plan, stuff like that. Luckily, I do have a lot of clients to where they stick with it. Um, and then I do have some to where they try to wait until their car, car gets super, super trashed. And then they expect that, that maintenance price, you know? It's not how it works. Do you pitch them bi-weekly or monthly services? Um, both. I tell them I have some clients that either try to do monthly or bi-weekly. You know, just cause I try to show that like I'm very flexible with stuff like that. But one thing that is kind of one of my pet peeves is clients that like wait for the car to get really bad cause they try to get like their money's worth. There's some people where like, I kind of just let it go. It doesn't take me that long to do it. Um, and then there's others where it just takes too long. It's that bad. I'd rather not even do it, but they don't want to pay that, that more detailed price. So when clients like that do, do that to you, you either got to let them know, you got to inform them or you just got to let them go. All right, Jerry. So when it comes to clients cheating on you, leaving you, what are some common things they say to let you know they're not gonna continue the service? For example, hey, Jerry, we're going through a financial difficulties. I'm gonna find someone cheaper. I'm uh, let's reschedule, but they never reschedule. What are some common things you hear? Um, so I've actually never had a client tell me they weren't gonna like continue services with me. Not like none that I could think of at the moment, at least. Uh, but there have been a few clients to where they schedule an appointment with me. They even gave me the deposit. And then they say like, you know what? Something came up. I have to reschedule. And I say in the, you know, like my, my invoice clearly, and I even tell them in person or over the phone, just letting you know the deposit's non-refundable and they agree to it. Um, and then when I say they're going to reschedule, I'm like, okay, no problem. I had it, you know, that deposit is going to go towards your service whenever we link up again. And then I hear, hear from them again. Yeah, it, ha it happened one time. This this lady contacted me from she from YouTube. She was a client from YouTube, lived out in like uh, Crenshaw, Compton area. And she's like, oh, my God, like I, I've been looking for a good detail or this and that. Paid her deposits, everything. And she was scheduled with me twice. Finally, I tried calling her and texting her because I was we set up a day. I was you know, waiting around for a good hour, never contacted me again, never heard from her again. I don't know what happened with that. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's how I keep my clients coming back for the maintenance, you know, uh, packages, the maintenance service. If you guys have any comments, questions, make sure to comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay blessed.